It's time for another Sunday vlog. It sure is. We've got a fun one for you today. Yeah, this one's going to be kind of a surprise. We're not going to tell you what's in it because this is going to be our off-the-strip adventure. Yeah, you've got to be intrigued by now, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do a couple of go to a couple places that we've had in the can, as they say in the <laughs> the film biz, and uh, we're going to bring them out and show them to you. As well as a few things that we've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to cover. Right. And if this works out and you like this, we'll do a couple more of these. Yeah, we want you to comment in the description, or I'm sorry, in the comments section after you watch this. Let us know what you think. All right. This adventure starts right now. First up, let's take a look at the famous Neon Museum where all the old iconic Las Vegas Resort signs go. Not to die, but to be reborn as art. There is a strict policy about video in here, but we have lots of photos. In fact, we had the privilege of seeing the non-public part of the museum grounds, the part reserved for weddings since our son and daughter-in-law were married there a few years ago. If you have any interest in Las Vegas Casino Resort history, and clearly you know that we do, the Neon Museum is a can't miss. Now, let's make it clear where this actually is. The address is, in fact, Las Vegas Boulevard, but it's up on the north end near Cashman Field and not close to the Strip Corridor that you may be familiar with. So if you want to see the history of Las Vegas in neon, this is the place to be. Stepping back in history now, we toured the Mob Museum just a couple months ago and were really disappointed that they did not allow video cameras. The official name for this building is the National Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement, and that's exactly what it is. As you travel the museum up from the first floor to the top, you follow along with news accounts of how organized crime got its hooks into America and Las Vegas specifically, and how the law was able to break in and corral them. But what really fascinated us was the displays and photos of the early days of Las Vegas. The hotels, what they called carpet joints like the Flamingo, and the notables like the early entertainers. The Mob Museum is located in downtown Las Vegas, just two blocks north of Fremont Street. It's in the former Las Vegas Post Office and Courthouse Building, which was built in 1933 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. This whole area is enjoying a rebirth, and you really want to walk around a bit while you're there. Cool pieces of history all around. The Mob Museum opened to the public in 2012, and as a perfect segue, so did this beautiful place, the Smith Center. For its entire history, Las Vegas has lacked a true performing arts center, you know, one that could house touring plays and shows and symphony orchestras. In times past, some of the strip resorts had residencies for Broadway shows like The Phantom of the Opera, Jersey Boys, and Spamalot, but those are all gone now. The Smith Center is on five acres in beautiful Symphony Park in downtown Las Vegas. There are two buildings and three theaters in the complex, and on this day, we were in Reynolds Hall to see a musical. Reynolds is the largest venue with 2,050 seats. The design of the building inside and out is Art Deco from the 1920s. There are also a lot of elements in here that are based on Hoover Dam. The winged sculpture in the center of the lobby is modeled after the famous winged figures of the Republic statues over at the dam. You may remember those from our Hoover Dam video last summer. The venues were designed with optimum sound quality in mind, with high-tech features like retractable draperies, auto-closing doors, double soundproofing, and materials that reflect or absorb sounds depending on the kind of performance going on. The other venues are Myron's Cabaret Jazz, a small, more intimate theater with seating for 240, and the Troish Studio Rehearsal Theater. There's an outdoor park plaza out front as well, which can be used for concerts or receptions. We are really glad to have this state-of-the-art venue in Las Vegas. Okay, it's time for a break because I think we're getting a little bit hungry. Let's go see what kind of supper we can grab out in the neighborhoods. Okay, you touched my hat. I touched his hat. Excuse me, I want to pop it off his head now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, don't touch my hat. We're at Beaumont's barbecue place at the Texas station. 
Yeah, sometimes uh, it's close to where we live. Sometimes you guys ask us what it's like in the locals' casinos, and we're in one. Yeah, and the food here is terrific. And I'm so is the decor. It's yeah. really pretty in here. Yeah, this this place uh, could rival the strip anytime, right? Yeah, really, really good brisket. We'll show you when it arrives. Absolutely. This location in the Texas station has only been here for just over a year, and we just love the decor and the food. According to the website, Beaumont's chefs were trained and mentored by some of the best barbecue pitmasters in the nation, and man, oh man, do they know their smoke. The brisket and pulled pork are tender and flavorful, and that filet cooked over hickory smoke was excellent. The sides are southern with a twist and house made from scratch. We can pretty much recommend everything on this menu. Okay, I just gotta say that that steak was fabulous. It was barbecued, what was it, hickory? Smoked hickory? Yeah. Something. Oh, it was just terrific. And I, I couldn't, I, I finished it, <laughs> but I couldn't finish the rest of the sides. Collard greens and mashed potatoes with the sour cream in them. Oh my gosh, was it good. And Paula's, I'm gonna just pan over here. Hey Paula, what'd you think of your food? It was fabulous. I love that brisket, great coleslaw, and really good cornbread. For a local casino, this is pretty good, isn't it? It's classy stuff. Very really much. good barbecue. Very much. Really so while we were at Beaumont's, we decided that it was a great opportunity to give you a little tour of the Texas Station. Some of you have asked about the local off-the-strip casino resorts, and this is a fine example. The Texas is on Rancho Drive, one of the main thoroughfares up to North Las Vegas, and it has a lot to offer under its sprawling roof. The western theming throughout the casino reminds us of a western theme park. And this car, suspended above the bar in the middle of the casino and wearing longhorns, you're not going to see that every day, I guarantee it. Texas Station is a locals casino that has a little bit of everything for the whole family. There's a bowling alley on the lower level a regal movie venue that has recently been upgraded to serve cocktails, a really nice gift shop, a classy martini bar with a gas fireplace above it, and in addition to Beaumont's barbecue, they also have the Feast Buffet, the ever-present Starbucks, a really cozy cafe with always fresh and enticing bakery items in the display case the Oyster Bar. And over adjacent to the movie theaters is the food court that has just about everything from pizza to burgers. Let us also mention that even though it's a casino, the Texas is a place you can bring the kids. Not only can they go bowling or to the movies, there are also two areas for arcade and video games, and they even offer childcare in case you want to try your luck at the slots. Of the best developments in recent years for those of us who live here is that at long last Las Vegas has become a bona fide sports town. We have NHL hockey. We are going to have NFL football later this year and just about a year ago we were gifted with this gorgeous minor league ballpark over in Summerlin. It is the home of our very own Las Vegas Aviators team. Spending a sunny Saturday afternoon at the ballpark is way up there on the list of off-the-strip adventures. Major League Baseball spring training is in full swing right now, if you'll pardon the pun, and we got to attend the big league weekend event at the ballpark a few days ago. It was the Cleveland Indians versus the Oakland A's, and there was a huge enthusiastic crowd on hand for the festivities. We did a video on the ballpark and all its features last summer when we attended an Aviators regular season game, and we will leave a link to that in the description box in case you missed it. Today, we just enjoyed the outing and had ourselves a great Nathan's hot dog. Lunch. Uh, wouldn't be a ballpark, or wouldn't be a ball game without a hot dog, right? We're gonna share one though, we're gonna be good. Okay. This is baseball at its finest. No wonder it was named the 2019 Best of Ballparks. Oh my God. My 
Bud Light, Bud Heavy. Coronas. Okay, what did you think of that guy? Is he terrific or what? He's so much fun. Coronas. Coronas. <laughs> he makes you want a beer and I don't even like beer. <laughs> so what did you think of this video? It was a little different, wasn't it? I want to know if you guys are dizzy yet. I think we took you to half a dozen places in 10 or 12 minutes and we definitely had you hopping. <laughs> yeah, we actually did a couple of videos that we had already in the can, as they say, and then a couple of new ones here. And I hope you enjoyed it. This is kind of a neat idea and we have other ideas for doing stuff locally. Yeah, small uh, little vineyard yet and we can put together in a montage and if you guys like it please leave a comment and let us know yeah we hope you do because we uh, it's not that we're going to not do things on the strip we just would like to do more stuff in the local area as well yeah just kind of mix it up keep it interesting that's right so if you're not subscribed please subscribe don't forget to hit that notification button anything else we have a staycation on the strip coming for you next weekend be sure you come back for that oh and yeah I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who helped us reach another milestone this week. We hit 6,000 6, subscribers. subscribers. Oh, that was so, so great. It's been just a whirlwind. This is awesome. Thank it's you. amazing. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. We'll see you bye next bye, week, everybody. guys. Have a good one.